You know, they came out of the gates with Get Out. And Get Out caught the world by storm, right? It, it was it was creative. It was intense. And it just showed what a guy like Jordan Peele and, and his storytelling sensibilities they could do. Amazing. And the world was waiting. What's he going to do next? And then he did Us, which I'm not going to lie to you. I found to be disappointing, especially coming off of the brilliance of Get Out. I thought Us was a really creative idea, a world-class performance by Lupita Nyong'o, all that kind of stuff. But still... And, and you had Mbaku in there. You had Winston. Now, is it Winston Duke? Yeah. Yeah. You had Winston Duke in there. I love him. So wonderful. But I, I just, for it was a little convoluted, whatever. But we've all been looking forward to Nope. The trailers have been great. We saw some extra stuff at CinemaCon that they didn't reveal to the world yet, but they have now because a brand new trailer for Nope has dropped. And it actually gives us now what the basic idea and plot of the movie is. And it's great. Now, this comes just from the folks over at The Hollywood Reporter who wrote the following. Uh, nope dropped its final trailer on Thursday, and it's far more clear just what is in store for audiences this summer. Written and directed by Oscar winner Jordan Peele, the universal uh, science fiction horror film is most definitely about aliens. Uh, that was the assumption from the initial looks at the film, but the previous trailers were so vague, it was not entirely certain given how brilliant of a storyteller Peele has proven himself to be with Get Out and us. Uh, now then they go on to say the final Nope trailer more clearly explains that the characters played by Kiki Palmer and Daniel Kalua are being tormented by at least one UFO at their at their horse training ranch for Hollywood Productions. The two decide they are going to get footage of the UFO and make some big bucks off the proof. I love the premise of this movie. I absolutely love it. Because like, you could have gone straight shot horror with this, right? It's like aliens are coming. You could have done something like a, uh, what was the M. Night movie again? Signs. Signs. They could have oh, mm -hmm. tried to go the signs route and stuff like that. But instead, they're going to put some personality into it. Because I fell in love with Kiki's character in the initial trailers and everything, talking about the history of the horse branch and all that kind of stuff. Right. To me, this sounds great. I am even more excited now for this film than I was before. Rob, you had a chance to see the trailer. What do you think about it? Well, I, you know, I, first of all, the, the whole tone of the trailer, the way they change up the music in the middle, you know, and, yeah. and it, it, there's a, there's a, it's, this trailer really makes me smile. And I, I just love the idea that, yeah, you know what? Aliens might be here, but let, let's, let's make a little profit, a little cheddar. You know, I thought that's, that's a great idea. I think my favorite thing about the trailer, though, is Michael Wincott is one of my favorite underutilized actors he was the villain in the crow he yeah. he was in um oliver stone's talk radio and he looks to be the director they hire in the movie in in within nope to shoot the footage right. of whatever the aliens are and you know normally he's always had oh he was also in strange days as philo gant i mean i love my he does not work enough and that that jordan peele hired michael wincott he knows <laughs> he knows Good on you, Jordan Peele, because I can't wait to see this movie. Chris, you had a chance to see this. Now, we saw a bunch of this at CinemaCon, but still, watching it again in the new context, what do you think about it? Oh, gosh, I'm so hyped for this movie. And Jordan Peele is a horror director, too, who I run to the theater to go see. And you do and not do that for horror films. I do not. I absolutely <laughs> do not. And I still have, I have an Aaron Cummings kind of reaction to stuff where I have to grab somebody and, like, <laughs> I'll punch them if I get too scared. Um, I'm so fun to sit next to, you guys. But this looks fantastic. And one of my favorite actors in the world, Stephen Yen, is in this. And I love him mm. so much. I think he is just so underutilized and I've loved seeing him pop up in more and more things yep. um, he's an incredible voice actor he's an incredible on camera actor and so I'm really excited to see what he brings to this universe too because we got a little bit more of him in this trailer I also like how you know I think the great directors have a stable of actors that they work with yeah mm -hmm. I mean obviously Daniel Kaluuya and Get Out and to see him come back and they're working together I like that and maybe Daniel Kaluuya is going to be Jordan Peele's Leonardo DiCaprio oh, I'd love the that. way that the way that Martin Scorsese and Leonardo did like what six films together? he's got one Academy Award nomination he's gonna have three or four probably by the end of the next decade probably Ray I know you've been looking forward to nope yeah and it's my most anticipated it is right it is your most into actually it has right. been your most anticipated movie so now that you've seen the new trailer is it still your most anticipated movie yes it is you know I have a little bias because Daniel Kalu Kaluuya he looks like my best friend in seventh and eighth grade uh, you know, his, um, shout out to Mark Mitchell. He What's moved, up, Mark? He moved, he moved to Compton like in the summer. And uh, speaking of Compton, this play, this a movie takes place in California, which is cool. I didn't know that. 
uh, IMDb like says it's a California ranch. Yeah, because so, they, they train horses for the So movies. that's really yeah. cool to me. Um, aliens. We saw a shot of the moon where the clouds open up. <laughs> Here we go. But that's, that's where I said, okay, am I going to order two tickets? Two showings now? No, no, no. I, I can't wait. I can't wait to see what the twist is there's gonna be a twist right oh for sure right but 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 there's so many possibilities of what it could be i can't wait and hopefully no one spoils it please if you've seen it see it early don't spoil it for everybody let us all get a chance to see it all right nope. guys <clears throat> nope nope <laughs> nope, nope. we're the internet nope. it's it's true all right guys question <laughs> is for you what do you think about the new trailer for nope we thought it looked great are you excited about the film are you more excited for it now maybe it didn't do it for you whatever you guys are thinking jump down to the comment section below and leave those thoughts there we want to take a minute and thank the sponsors of this video liquid iv now listen just one stick of liquid IV added to 16 ounces of water will hydrate you faster and more efficiently than just water alone. It contains five essential vitamins like B3, B5, B6, B12, and of course vitamin C with three times the electrolytes as traditional sports drinks. And what makes liquid IV so effective is the science of cellular transport technology or CTT. You see, it's designed to enhance rapid absorption of water and other key ingredients into your bloodstream faster and more efficiently. You know, Ann and I get up pretty early in the morning to go to the gym because we can't go to the gym at any other time during the day. And for the last couple of weeks, I have been drinking one full glass of water with liquid IV. And all I can tell you is you can feel the difference during the workout. So go and grab liquid IV in bulk nationwide at Costco, or you can get 25% off when you go to liquidiv.com and use the code CAMPIA at checkout. That's 25% off anything you order when you use the promo code Campia, that's C-A-M-P-E-A, -E at liquidiv.com. Experience better hydration today when you go to liquidiv.com. And remember, use the promo code at checkout, Campia.